Alrighty guys, this is it. Oh my god, we are only several minutes away from the Pokemon Direct. It is currently 10.56 p.m. here in Australia. We are literally three to four minutes away from this Direct. It's gonna happen! Oh my god, this Direct is gonna happen! Oh my god, the day has finally come. Also, by the way, I shaved off my moustache for those who have just noticed. Because I did have a moustache during my Smackdown review. But that doesn't matter! But that doesn't matter! This freaking Direct is about to start, man. I'm so freaking hyped. So freaking hyped. I was, uh, I was actually sitting in, uh, Mega Crash's, um... Just letting them know that I've hit record. I'm gonna start! I'm gonna react! Oh my god! I'm about to lose control. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I'm so excited, Summer. So excited, Summer. I'm so excited. Well, I'll let you go back up there now. Oh my god. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes to go, guys. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. I've, I've hit refresh on the, on the stream. Oh god. Oh god, here we go! I was gonna play some music, but that doesn't matter. No, I better get my pillows out of the way, because I'm gonna get a little excited here. Oh my god. My god, look at how many people are watching. There is exactly 1,500... There's about... Holy cow! There's more people coming. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. One minute! One minute to go! One minute to go! One minute to go! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! One minute to go! Oh my god, I've never been so excited in my life. I've never been so excited in my life. Oh, yeah, I had mate. Yeah, I was watching uh, Mega Crasher. I was watching his live stream while I was waiting. Shout out to Mega Crasher, by the way, guys. Um, he's a great, he's a great friend. He he and uh, his uh, friend tried to help me uh, today with, when it came to my live streaming because I said my uh, I said that I couldn't live stream this. So I'm reacting to it like this. Oh my god. So I closed out of his live stream. I turned it off. I turned down his volume, but I closed out of his live stream. Oh my god, it's 11. It's 11. It's 11. Come on, let me see. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh! Welcome to Pokemon Direct. I'm Chihara from the Pokemon Today, I would like to provide the latest. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. To begin, please take a look at this video. Oh, oh my god! Not a video! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, here are the starters! I guess that's your rival? This is how we choose our starter. Whoa! Oh my god, there's stairs! There's a professor. Seems to be an old lady. What's the- What was that? Whoa! What the hell are those things? Oh my god, those new Pokemon look incredibly cool. Oh my god. I, what, what were those Pokemon? 
What? What was that, Blackbird? Oh my god, this region looks beautiful. This looks incredibly beautiful. There's Pokemon in the overworld! God, what in the world am I looking at? A giant ball? Whoa! What in the world am I looking at here with this giant Gyarados? Is this a raid? You're throwing a giant Pokeball at a giant Gyarados. Oh, here we go. Are these the gyms? Whoa, what are these giant Pokeballs? Oh my god, I'm going absolute. My, my mind is going absolutely wild. Whoa, my mind went absolutely wild. Hello, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hi, I'm Omori from Game Freak. What did you think of the video? Awesome! That video was awesome! We would like to deliver the latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world, right here from Game Freak's offices where development is underway. take on the role of the main character, who resides in the Galar region. After choosing Grookey, Scorbunny, or Sobble as your first partner Pokemon, you will embark on an adventure to become the champion. Your journey will take you through vast and lush grasslands, towns in which you will find humans and Pokemon working together, and many other locations filled with rich personality. Pokemon battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the Galar region. Woodhammer! Stadiums across wow, the galaxy can have wood, wood hammer? cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles between gym leaders and challengers. The excitement of these battles is often broadcast on television in the Galar region as well. The most exciting part of visiting a new region is, of course, encountering Pokemon that you've never seen before. Oh yes, please tell me their names. To tell you more about some of the Pokemon that reside in the Galar region. I'd like to hand it over to James, the art director on these games. Hey, Jamie. Oh, Hello. Oh, cool. I'm James Turner from Game Freak. I worked as the art director for these games. There are a lot of never-before-seen Pokemon that await you in the Gala region. But allow me to introduce you to just a few of them. The first Pokemon I'd like to show you is... Wooloo, this Pokemon's the sheep Pokemon. defining characteristic is its fluffy fur, which is treasured by weavers in a town. In I'm the guessing this is our um that one Pokemon. This Pokemon here is Gossifla, the flowering Pokemon. Gossifla. Gossifla favors places with clean air and water. Grass type. Its pollen is said to have healing properties. This next Pokemon is called Dreadnought. Dreadnought. Oh, I, I really the like the look of this thing. The jagged edges of its jaw allow it to bite off chunks of rock and iron. Its vicious nature makes it a difficult Pokemon to tame for all but the most experienced trainers. This Pokemon that can be seen flying steadily through the sky is called Corviknight. Corviknight, a it raven! Its skills to use when working as a flying Rumor, right. Take the player back to any town he or she has previously visited. A 
as many of you already know, some Pokemon can evolve, changing their appearance and becoming stronger in the process. Gossifleur is one of these Pokemon. When Gossifleur evolves... Oh my god! Look at the state's evolution! It becomes Elvagos. Elvagos! As you can see, there are now small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. These seeds are said to promote growth in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. That's all I can show you this time. Uh... There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region for you to discover. That's fine. Of course, oh, you can my look God. forward to finding many Pokemon you're already familiar with. So that rumor was right about the raven. There was a report that said there was going to be a raven Pokemon. That inhabit the Gala region. Oh, that was so cool. Meeting lots of Pokemon is one of the thrills of the adventure. And where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Gala region in a place called the Wild Area. Wild Area? This wild area stretches between cities and is filled with abundant nature as far as the eye can see. Different Pokemon can appear depending on where you are and what the weather is like, meaning there will be new discoveries for you each day. Some of you may already have noticed, but while adventuring through this area, you have control over the camera. Allowing you to better search for items. Oh, you can control the camera now! In the tall grass, in the skies above, and even in the lakes, where you never know Sweet. what you will find. In certain locations in the Gala region, a new phenomenon can be triggered that makes a Pokemon giant in size and gives it incredible strength. Oh, here we strength. go. What's this? This phenomenon is called Dynamaxing. Dynamax. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities in the heated battles performed by trainers and their Pokemon. For more details, I would like to turn it over to Ewal. The Dynamax, so that's games. what that big giant thing was. Hi, I'm Ewal from Game Freak and the planning director for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Let me tell you more about the new Dynamax feature, which will surely bring about all new strategies to Pokemon battles. Pokemon from the Gala region can Dynamax to not only become massive in size, but also boost their power. All the moves they know turn into powerful Max moves. Oh, sick! Dynamaxing can be used once per battle. However, the Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. Okay, so this is basically this game's version of Z-Moves and Mega Evolution. Gotcha. Raid battles! Wow, Max, Max Raid, Raid battle. battle. Wild Dynamax Pokemon keeps its giant form for the entire battle. Not only that, it also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one of these four players who have teamed up for the Max Raid battle will be able to Dynamax their Pokemon in each battle. So coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful wild Pokemon. If you and your allies manage to emerge victorious, Get a chance to capture the Pokemon in a truly dynamic catch cycle. In a dynamic capture? Wow. The Pokemon that you can take on in max raid battles also vary depending on where you are in the wild area and the state of the weather. Among these different Pokemon are some that can only be caught after you defeat them in max raid battles. So we hope trainers will join forces and test their skills against a variety of Pokemon. Wow, man, that's cool. Max Raid Battles feature strategic cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokemon, which is a first for the main series of Pokemon games. 
It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch system's local wireless functionality to tackle these battles with friends in person and experience the excitement together. You can also connect with other players over the internet to enjoy playing with other trainers from all around the globe. So I hope you'll try max raid battles with all sorts of other players. Next, I would like to introduce some of the people you will encounter on your adventure. This guy is the greatest trainer in the Gallo region, and also the current champion. His name is Leon. In a ah, region the where champion Pokemon of the battles are so widely enjoyed, his undefeated record in official matches is all the more incredible. His popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality, winning him the adoration of trainers across the region. It's no exaggeration to say that he is the most prominent trainer in all of Galar. The champion has a younger brother, also happens to be one of your rivals. His name is Hop. His Hop name is Pop, so this is our rival. Just like his elder brother, and he trains vigorously every day towards this goal. His journey through the Galar region begins on the same day as yours. On your journey, you and Hop will receive a great deal of support from these two characters. Professor Magnolia is the professor of the Galar region and specializes in researching the Dynamax phenomenon. Sonia is her granddaughter and also serves as her assistant. Sonia. Their abundant wisdom and so sound advice will women as come uh, the in hand throughout your adventure. Now. Yes, that's time for the gym battles, I guess. Next, I would like to talk about the Pokemon gyms in the Galar region. You and your rival will need to take on the Pokemon gyms throughout the region in order to achieve your goal of becoming champion. These gym stadiums are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokemon to be Dynamaxed. The gym leaders also have extremely powerful Dynamax Pokemon on their teams, so you will need to counter them some of your own. Battles between two Dynamax Pokemon are explosive and will cause the energy and excitement in the stadium to reach its peak. Let me introduce one of the gym leaders to you. This is the grass type expert, Milo. This gym leader is all about enjoying battles alongside his trustworthy Pokemon. You will have to overcome his tenacious fighting well, style. Well, people are going to pick Straw Bunny because of this gym. Look forward to facing many more heated battles against gym leaders over the course of your adventure. We've shown up quite a bit today. But I have one more video I would like you to see. Oh my god! Please take a look. One more video? No way. Are these the legendaries? Oh! They look so cool! They look so cool! They're the legendaries! So they were wolf Pokemon! The two Pokemon you saw in the video just now are in fact legendary Pokemon of the Gala region called Zashia and Zamazenta. Zashia and Zamamenta. Look forward to discovering for yourself just what role Zashia and Zamazenta will play in the story. I hope you enjoyed today. They were so cool. I love them. What we revealed today is just a small part of what you will find in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. There are many more Pokemon and interesting characters for you to discover in the Galar region. We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. Please look forward to it.
Oh, I will. Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. Finally, I would like to announce the release date. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. November 15th. November 15th, 2019, as a global simultaneous release. And starting today, you can pre-order a special double pack. Stay tuned for more information. I hope you will look forward to your new Pokemon adventure in the gallery. Thank you for watching. I don't know what to say. I freaking love those legendaries. They look so freaking cool. And I, I... Oh my lord, man. That was amazing. That was amazing. Holy cow, man. That was unbelievable! Oh my god. I cannot wait for these games, man. I cannot wait for these games. Those legendary Pokemon, they look absolutely freaking cool. Yeah, we didn't see any of the evolutions we may not have seen any of the evolutions from the starters but you know what that's fine they'll probably leave that for e3 but oh my god man i'm so excited anyway guys that's gonna be the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and i'll see you all when and i'll see you all in the near future see you guys later oh my god man